Welcome back after a long winter. Today is March 13th, 2024. And we're going to get into taking our soil samples. So you can see the cover crops looking pretty good. Overwintered pretty well. It is uh, winter rye, hardy vetch, and clover. Overall looking pretty good, looking pretty healthy. These nice 60, 70 degree days we're having has greened it up real nice. And we'll show you here in a minute the tools that we use to take our soil samples. Here's the tool we like to use to get our soil samples or our plugs. Picked it up on Amazon, I think it was 16, 17 bucks. And uh, what we'll do is we'll go across the patch, which is now 2,100 square foot, and probably just an X pattern. Go from this corner here to here and cross over just to get an accurate soil sample across the entire patch. Part of this patch is new up here towards me, and then the furthest part of the patch down there is one we used in years past. So we'll go ahead and do that. We'll collect probably about two to three cups worth. I just finished up gathering those soil samples or the soil plugs. This is what we end up with in the end. Looks like something your dog or your cat would leave out for you in the yard, but that's what we're looking for. So we'll give these about two to three days to dry out, and uh, we'll Ziploc bag them up, probably a gallon Ziploc bag, and send them off to Western Labs to have them test. And then uh, we'll adjust accordingly. Chances are we're taking this year off from growing and resting this patch. Um, but with those results, we'll be able to adjust our pH, which takes three to six months really for like elemental sulfur to burn uh, break down. So we'll get that pH adjusted. Um, we're going to let this cover crop go for probably a couple months. Um, plans this year or to then till this up, broad fork it, um, add that elemental, elemental sulfur, and then uh, we're probably going to do a cover crop of mustard. I think disease is pretty much what took us out last year, stopped us really from growing a 2,000 pounder or maybe even a state record. Um, just a lot of disease in the soil. So that cover crop of Kodiak mustard uh, should help alleviate some of that. And probably into this season, we'll have a uh, soil test done for disease and see where we're at and maybe what additional we need to do for next year. Thanks for watching. Until next time, see you.